Hey everybody, it's Christina. Today I want to show you how I made it, this little gatefold card. Um, I have it in a little clear plastic bag, so I'm going to show you all about that too. So first we're going to start off with a piece of cardstock. This measures eight and a half by four and a quarter, and we're going to make a gatefold card. So the first thing that we're going to do is score this at two and an eighth. So I'm just using my score blade on my trimmer. And then again at six and three eighths, just right about there. And then we'll go ahead and fold our card. So we're just folding in our flaps. And that's what creates our little gate fold. So the next thing you're going to need are a couple panels of cardstock. This is pumpkin pie. It's cut out two inches by four and an eighth. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere those down on the front two panels and on the inside two panels. So I'm just going to use my snail adhesive for that. And they'll get centered right on the little flap. So this measures about an eighth of an inch smaller than the flap. And then we'll put the two on the inside. Actually, this is the outside. All right. And then I took some pattern paper. This is from Bewitched. And this measures um, two inches, no, I'm sorry, it's of an eighth of an inch smaller. So it's four inches by, is it six and five eighths? I'm terrible with those measurements, but it's an eighth of an inch smaller than the orange pumpkin pie cardstock. And then those will get adhered right in the center of our pumpkin pie. For the inside piece, I cut another piece of pumpkin pie cardstock. The overall card is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So this piece right here measures four and one eighth by four and one eighth. So I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that down. So that just gets centered right there as well. And then I have a piece of very vanilla. This measures four inches by four inches. So that would be the inside of our card. So before I start decorating the outside, I want to stamp my sentiment for the inside. I'm going to be using a couple stamps from the Halloween Bash stamp set. So I'm going to be using this Celebrate a Creepy Crawly Halloween the ticket and the frame. So I'm going to start off celebrate with the Celebrate a Creepy Crawly Halloween and I'm going to stamp that out in some old olive ink. And then I have a little piece of the very vanilla cardstock right here. I'm going to stamp that sentiment on here and then adhere it to the inside because I like to stamp it on a piece and then here because I am not the straightest with stamping when I know if I'm going right into a card. So maybe this will help me be a little bit straighter. So celebrate a creepy crawl of Halloween. I'm going to let that dry for a second. And while I have the Halloween bash out, I'm going to take a scrap piece of very vanilla and I'm going to stamp out my Halloween bash ticket. go. 
And then I'm going to use the pumpkin pie to do the frame piece. This is an older pumpkin pie, so I kind of have to work it a little bit to get it to, to ink up. There we go. I'm going to use the decorative label punch. The Tickets Jewel Punch for our ticket piece. Also a two and a half inch circle punch. We're going to use that to back a piece of the tea lace doily just to give it a little bit of support because we're going to use that on the front panel. So we're just going to throw some adhesive on here. put this on the back side of the doily and then that's going to go right on the front. Alright, so the other thing I'm going to do is using a piece of black cardstock, I'm going to cut out an oval. That oval is going to get centered right here. The other thing I could do is punch out the oval from here, but I went with um, just punching out a piece of black for the oval and then I'm going to center that right in the center. I'm going to use a dimensional to pop up the ticket. Let's go right in the center. And then I also cut out a piece of cardstock from the Apothecary Framelit set and I am going to just do a little trimming on this. I'm cutting off the little corners because on one section they do kind of stick out when I back it with this frame. So it kind of created a new little back for that. So we're going to adhere that down and with this I'm just lining up the points on um, this label right here with the decorative piece on this one. Then this will get adhered to the front of our doily piece. And then for the doily piece, I'm going to put adhesive only on one half, and I'm going to put it on this half over here. So we're just going to make sure we're And then that will get adhered to the front of our card in the center. Just like so. And then we'll take our Celebrate a Creepy Crawly. And that we're going to center. Well, we're not going to center. I'm going to center it, but up in the top. So that makes our little card. Now for the envelope, what I did was I have these clear CD sleeves that I bought for another reason. And I thought I got to get some use out of them because I have a ton of them. So they have a little flap on the top and then you can slide your card right inside. So this would be great even for like birthday cards to go with a gift. And then what I did was is I fold the flap over. took a little piece of the washi tape that's also the in the holiday catalog. Just got to find the end of the tape here. And with that, I just use that to hold down my flap. And then I have an old Stampin' Up! punch from a long time ago that is the slot punch. And I'm going to center that and just kind of punch out. You can use anything for this. I probably got a piece in there from before. So I use that to cut punch out a little hole in the top. And then I take 
my, and I'm sorry for all the noise, somebody has decided to mow their lawn just as I was getting ready to do a video. Um, I'm going to take my natural ribbon. I've gotten so much use out of this, I'm going to need to buy more of this. And with this, all I did was just tied a knot on the top. Just like so. trim off the tails and that's our card so I hope you enjoyed today's video if you have any questions let me know thanks for watching and I'll see you next time